How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It's time for all of your favourites. It's Torben Tuesday. Well, Torben Wednesday. For some reason they are releasing Torben Tuesday very late, late Tuesday, and I don't have enough time to make a video, so it's Wednesday. Torben Wednesday. Now if you don't know what Torben Tuesday slash Wednesday is, is Every month in Forza, we get an update. And a week before we get the update information, they give us clues as to what's in the update. So in today's video, we have all of the clues regarding next week's update, which is update 23. So on Monday, next week, we are going to get the confirmed information. However, from today, we can take our guesses at all the new cars and new features for the new update. As I've started to say recently, if this video does help you out and you get a little bit of information from this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel as it does help me out massively and I like to do videos like this on a monthly basis. So what I'm going to do now is show you the image which is full of the clues. We're going to crack down each one of the clues and I think we've got them all this week, which is pretty good. And I'm going to tell you what everybody in the community thinks about each clue. Now, because of the whole lockdown situation and not being at work, the images are a little bit different than usual. For the past three months, it's been like this. Usually we get an image like this full of clues. However, because Playground games are not working from the studio, we've got an image like this. There's nothing in the image. However, attached to it in the tweet are the clues. And the clues are the following. Seven minus 200. Five Carrots, Too Loyal, Oily Cottage Cat, Tom Go Ratty 2, and Rot My Tacos 2. Five lines, five clues, and we're going to go through each clue right now. I believe we already have them all correct, so that's going pretty good. Let's get into it. So, the top clue is the hardest clue out of all of them. So, I'm just going to quickly focus on the bottom four um, to start with, since those are already cracked by the looks of it. Believe it or not, the bottom four clues are all anagrams. Let's start with the bottom clue, which is Rock My Tacos 2. This is actually an anagram of Toyota MR2 SC. I should have a little, little kind of video on screen of the anagram in place. You'll see that it spells exactly Toyota MR2 SC, and I doubt this is a coincidence. So to me, the last clue is hinting towards the Toyota MR2 SC. Now, if we go up to the next clue, which is Tom Go Ratty 2, this is also an anagram of another Toyota. Toyota MR2 GT. As you can see on screen, it's a direct anagram, completely perfect, spot on, Toyota MR2 GT. Now, all of the clues are anagrams apart from the top one. We're going to go up another one to Oilage, sorry, Oily Cottage Cat. This is an anagram of Toyota Celica GT. That's another pretty obvious car. And then the one above that, we have five carats too loyal. Again, this is an anagram of the Toyota Corolla SR5. So to put it short, the bottom four are all anagrams. They're all Toyotas and they're all bang on. I doubt this is a coincidence because it just wouldn't make any sense. I highly doubt they've managed to put a clue in a sentence that's also an anagram of a Toyota. You see what I mean? It just seems unlikely to me. So the Toyota MR2 SC, the Toyota MR2 GT, the Toyota Celica GT, and the Toyota Corolla SR5 are four cars could potentially, I'm still going to say potentially because it might be wrong, that we may see next week. Now the top clue is the one that people aren't really 100% on. I'm going to go through what people think the top clue could be. Now the top clue is 7 minus 200. Now some people have guessed the Peugeot 207 RC. I believe this is in the leaked car list and 207, that's 7 plus 200. You know, it has the numbers in it. Now 7 minus 200, some people have said that this could be hinting towards the 200 horsepower Toyota Celica Mark 7. So it's got the 7 in it for Mark 7 and it's also got 200 in it because it has almost 200 horsepower for Toyota Celica Mark 7. And if, if that's the case, then that means that the Toyota Celica GT for the third clue could be the Mark 1. But the first clue, again, it could be hinting towards the Toyota Al 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 Alteza RS200, someone said. 
which has 207 horsepower if you add 7 and 200 together it's 207 the toyota fj cruiser was another one this car has 193 kilowatts of power and obviously 200 minus 7 is 193 it's also possible and also the toyota land cruiser as well as this is also known as the j200 and which started production in 2007 so the 200s in there 7 200 2007 you know this top clue could honestly be any of those it could be the Celica mark 7 the peugeot 207 it could be the fj cruiser the land cruiser the rs200 it could be several things so other than the first clue which could be any of those things I'm, i don't know which one i would guess to be honest but other than that is that four of the clues that they've given us are direct anagrams of the Toyota Corolla, Toyota Celica, and then two versions of the Toyota MR2. Anyway, ladies, I'm honestly not going to waste your time anymore. Lately, our Torben Tuesday guesses have been pretty spot on. We've got quite a few of them correct. Let's hope that this month is a repeat of the last. My personal predictions, I'm going to guess the Toyota Land Cruiser. I just think it fits the clue the most, and then the other ones are, of course, quite obvious. But on Monday, which is only a few days away, we will find out if we're correct or not. And then that same week, we will also get access to one of these cars to play with. And then the later, later that month. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more thoughts about some more content. I'll see you all later.